When you think of an ancient civilization, what usually comes to mind? Most answer Egypt, the Mayans, and Aztec, maybe the Romans and Greek, but what about the ancient Chinese? Ancient China is almost always ignored when the discussion of advanced ancient civilizations come up, but they're actually one of the most prominent. Ancient China and its people developed some of the most important inventions and technologies. As we move forward in our quest for knowledge, you'll learn that once China hit the Middle Ages, it was one of the most innovative cultures the world has ever known. It was a culture that contributed so much to humanity, and today we're going to learn about those contributions. One of the most notable inventions coming from ancient China was cast iron. Yeah, that's right, cast iron. Not thought to have actually sprung up until the 1500s AD. The earliest cast iron artifacts date to the 5th century BCE and were discovered by archaeologists in what is now modern Lu County, Jiangsu, in China. This is a revolutionary discovery. Ancient China developed a technology that predates the Western world by almost 2,000 years. Cast iron was used by the ancient Chinese in the creation of cookware and tools like today. Cast iron is too brittle to be used in weapon making and other high impact tools at the time, so it really wasn't used like that. Swords and some of the tools needed to flex and bend, and cast iron would just shatter. Forged iron was a lot stronger and a lot more flexible. That meant cast iron was mainly used for cooking. This is the fucking versus fucking uh, Now that that outburst is taken care of, although there aren't many uses in ancient times for cast iron other than a few tools and cookware, what it did for modern humanity though cannot be understated. With the use of iron in muskets, cannons, horseshoes, cookware, stoves, etc., during the times of the 1600s through the Industrial Revolution and in the modern times, mass production would be impossible without the invention of cast iron. Without cast iron, which led to humanity casting other metals, we would be stuck at the forge. Every tool or appliance made from metal would be handmade at a blacksmith. Prices would just be astronomical. Large structures would never be possible. Just imagine pounding out hundreds of 10 mm 500 foot pieces of wire and then weaving it together into a steel cable all by hand. The ability to cast metal is not a technology looked down on and ancient China was the grandfather of modern conveniences. Once again crushing the ancient world with innovation, the Chinese brought about the first blast furnaces the world has ever seen. Around 5th century BC is where we first see the invention being used by the ancient Chinese. Blast furnaces would superheat metal by blowing air over hot coals feeding highly combustible oxygen. This allowed for ancient smiths to heat up metals faster and a lot easier, cutting down work times. Blast furnaces outside of China were not seen at the earliest until 1200 AD, once again putting ancient China ahead of the curve by close to 2000 years. Blast furnaces actually haven't changed much since its rudimentary starts in China. The Chinese blast furnace remained in use well into the 20th century. With the use of advanced blast furnaces, the Chinese were able to work metals a lot easier. Iron, bronze, and steel were widespread throughout history. With the advancement of the blast furnace came the ability to cast iron, which pushed the ancient people ahead even further. So advanced was their understanding of metallurgy, ancient Chinese people were able to figure out a way to make molten iron into wrought iron, which finally allowed them to cast weapons without fear of them being brittle and shattering. The blast furnace was a game changer for the ancient civilization, an invention ahead of its time, but as seems to be a trend, when the dark ages hit, the innovation and invention was all but ignored or forgotten by the world. Blast furnaces in the west and the rest of the world didn't actually reach popularity until the 15 to 1600s. Imagine where we would be today if ancient Europe started to work advanced metals in 500 BCE instead of 1500 AD. Humanity and the church has a lot to answer for in the dark ages. Want to launch some pumpkins? How about some dead people's heads? Well, the traction trebuchet, anything's possible. With six easy payments of $39.99, you can get- What the hell are you doing? Get back on script. Sorry about that. ADD kind of has its downfalls sometimes. I'll try to avoid it from now on. The traction trebuchet was one of the first siege engines to ever be created. Well, who created it? Ancient Chinese, of course. The first traction trebuchets were invented by the Chinese in the 4th century BC, used by the Moists in China. Traction trebuchets worked with a system of ropes and pulleys with soldiers pulling on the ropes, lodging the projectiles at the intended target. Many weren't large enough or powerful enough at the time to launch more than large stones or bombs against their intended target, but as time went on though, eh, things kind of changed. They started to get mounted on ships and grew in size to the counterpart we are the most familiar with today, the counterweight trebuchet. The traction trebuchet, though, for its time was a marvel of military technology. With the traction trebuchet and the crossbow, which will be covered in a later video, the Chinese war machine was mighty and powerful. Although secluded, the history of ancient China is one that not many historians or, for that matter, the world teaches. Although it is an instrument of war, imagining the world without this invention would be hard. It was the ancestor to weapons that made castles and empires crumble. It shaped the world and the face of many castles. Without this next technology, you wouldn't be able to enjoy your favorite pastime. No, no, get that out of here. This is an educational video. Yes, paper. Paper is one of the most important inventions this world has ever seen. 
At the time, man was carving their writings into stone, wood, caves, basically anything that you couldn't transport or took up a lot of space. They introduced paper into the world, we get small things like scrolls and books that are easy to transport and contain a lot of knowledge. This made the delivery of messages easier and more convenient. Communication, education, and basically anything that deals with the written word was so much easier. Paper making has traditionally been traced to China when Kai Lun, an official attached to the imperial court during the Han Dynasty, created the sheet of paper using mulberry and other bast fibers, along with fishnets, old rags, and hemp waste. Ancient Chinese used paper to wrap herbs, spices, right, obviously, and in the use of cartography. That's map making for you younger viewers. And yes, even as toilet paper. Oddly enough though, paper was used more as protective sheeting in the transport of delicate goods and poisons. It didn't hit widespread use of writing until around 300 AD. Once realized for its ability to take written word, the use of paper blew up around the world. Greek, Roman, Egyptian. It spread like wildfire because of its ease of use compared to stone, wood, bone, and even papyrus. Although the recipe for paper making has changed throughout time, it is still one of the most used ancient inventions to date. Without paper, we'd still be using stone to write like Fred Flintstone. That would suck. A lot. But then again, we'd look like the rock. Pun completely intended. On a more serious note, humanity would not have progressed culturally or technologically without paper being introduced to the world. Many humans would be illiterate, and surprisingly enough, even with paper, that is still a major issue in the world today. Ancient China is really an ignored culture being overshadowed by Greek, Egyptian, and Rome, but contributes so much to human culture it deserves a look. Once we make it to the Middle Ages, you'll be blown away with how much we have today, thanks to the Chinese. Maybe the next time you scoff when you see that Made in China sticker, stop. Think. What would happen if we never had these innovative and creative people donate such amazing technologies to the timeline of humanity? Hey guys, if you liked the video, don't forget to throw us a like and subscribe. It'll keep you up to date on all of our content and history series. Don't forget to check out these videos either, and we really thank you guys, and we think you're going to enjoy the videos. Stick around, we have a lot of awesome videos planned for the future. We'll see you guys in the next one.